my there YouTube, it's uh, Big Laurie, late Sunday evening, 24th of July. Um, put to shame by my son this afternoon, who took it upon himself to make a little video with his mum, and it's better than anything I've ever done. But um, I did notice that uh, you maybe didn't get a great view of the coins. Now, as you know, I'm not a great penny man, but here's one of them, Indian head penny. Now this one is stamped to number three. I have got absolutely no idea of the significance. But that gives you a bit better look. This is 1897. Zero grams, 950 cubes. <laughs> if you didn't watch the video, that means bugger all. And finally the one he showed me, this one came as a little freebie. Um, I uh, recently ordered for Callum a load of wheat pennies. Now all I know is that some of them are worth something and some of them aren't and blah blah blah. But uh, any time I see coin roll hunting by youngsters in the States it's always wheat pennies they're after. So I picked up a shed load and the people that sent me it gave me this 2001 proof, which is gold as far as Callum's concerned. However, that's them. Before I come on to these ones, there's another one I wanted to show you. This uh, is actually uh, just a, a regular £2 coin that I got today in my change at the supermarket. And um, I hadn't seen this design before, just the regular stuff with old Queenie on the back or in the front there. 2015 one, but look, this is uh, the design, uh, the, uh, where are we going? Yeah, sorry, my apology, I'm switching it upside down. Kind of Britannia. I'd never seen this one before, and it's in really lovely condition, almost uncirculated. Obviously circulated, because I picked it up at Asda, <laughs> Walmart, to all you guys in the States. Um... And uh, so this is one that's coming to my buddy Argentum Spartus. I'm working through a load of stuff just now from um, I picked up a couple of boxes of a hodgepodge of all sorts of stuff and so I'm trying to do a little uh, A to Z for his boys. So if anybody knows a country that begins with Z, uh, X, let me know. Uh, so I'll pop this in with it, some other stuff in. So anybody in the UK, have you seen this one before? So it was absolutely, completely new to me. And it's only from 2015, but uh, you see £2 coins all the time. Anyway, so moving on. In the last week, uh, coming back from our holidays, uh, having the second week off before having to go back to work, I somehow contrived to lose every single um, bit of information, the spreadsheet I had, plus the backup spreadsheet I have with every single coin I've ever bought. Uh, and so it's been a bit of a, a job working my way backwards, trying to find the transactions and blah, 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 rebuild that. But I've managed to do it. But what I did find was that there are loads and loads of little coins that I picked up here and there over the, the last year or so that um, I hadn't shared. And these three in particular were ones I wanted to, to have a wee look at, all from Newfoundland which obviously is now part of Canada. I think Newfoundland and Labrador is the most easternmost province. But, oh God, this is where the old history comes in. I think it became part of Canada about 1948-49. It had kind of been quasi-independent from about 1860, at the same time that Canada became kind of an independent country from the UK but even though the two delegates from Newfoundland wanted to become part of Canada the people didn't and so Newfoundland kind of donned it on as its own little quasi-independent country. So this one is a 1917 10 cents piece cracking little coin. These all three of them are 925 silver so 
Nice, only 54,000 minted. So that's that one. This one, or the next two, both 50 cents pieces. This one from 1917. 375,000 minted. This one's in cracking condition. Again, with this uh, snootiness on the back there. Yeah, so I think uh, the long and the short was that by the early 1920s and 30s, this uh, tw 20th century, Newfoundland, I think after the Great Depression, was in serious trouble financially. And so the long and the short, I think they asked for some help from Canada. Canada said, sod off unless you become part of Canada. The Brits didn't want Newfoundland becoming part of the USA. And uh, <laughs> there you have it. Of course, this could all just be utter bollocks. I'm going on the basis of what I think uh, I remember from school. But it might all be horseshit. So please, please don't trust me. Uh, t t take me at face value. If you ever want to use this information, source it <laughs> independently. But um, yeah, just wanted to uh, let you see these. I've come across a few nice little bits and pieces that I'll be able to dig out. It was a bit of a chore having to put together the uh, information all together again. But um, it was nice to have a look through some of the coins that I haven't filmed before. So uh, I'll bang a few out. And in the meantime, please let me know what you think of these ones. If my knowledge and recollection of the history of Newfoundland is mince, please feel free to let me know. Uh, and uh, this is especially for guys in Canada who probably know a whole lot more than I do. <laughs> but uh, anyway, listen, have a great week, everybody. I'm back to work tomorrow. Boo! Uh, but um, uh, please let me know what you think of these. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. As always, good, bad, and different comments. Feel free to leave them. Uh, and uh, until the next time, everybody take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.